Hey guys, welcome back to the Dustin Dean Homestead Outlaw channel. Today we are working in the garden. This is a garden video. And um, what me and Mama Dean, we went out and we explored and we found a place that most towns have a, a dump site for wood chips. Well, we got the little pickup truck loaded up with, uh, hand loaded up, shoveled up with uh, wood chips. And this is, this is what we have. And so we have this little trick um, that we learned is you take this paper here and you roll we got so my corn so my corn I plant uh two feet apart because they pollinate each other and so um or themselves and so it's best to kind of plant them closer together most of my gardens plant four feet apart rows but so we have uh 12 inch paper if we roll down the middle so what I believe this is a really good method. Um, is that the the paper uh, suppresses the weeds and kills off the weeds because it doesn't get the sunlight and uh, kind of smothers it. And then the uh, wood chips holds down the moisture and it holds moisture in the garden better. And then the, all the critters that live in the dirt, the worms and the microorganisms uh, feed off of the uh, wood chips, bringing it down the soil. Um, so hopefully, uh, hopefully this works for us. This is uh, our first year garden in this area. Mm -hmm. We've done this uh, several years ago. We did this at our other place, and it's worked out very well for us. So, so uh, this is this is the process. So as you can tell, before we've it's, look how good that looks, guys. Woo, baby. It's looking good, Mom and Dean. They say fabulous. It's looking fabulous. <laughs> fabulous, darling. I'll show you. I'll show you the rest of the garden. The corn's coming up good. Um, if anything, it's definitely looking more like a garden. We've got the uh, the uh, tomato plants are is growing better. Look at that. We got a red red tomato growing already right there. Ooh. That's, that's going on my uh, uh, BLT later. And so uh, here in this row is we, um, this is, uh, I've been prepping this. We just today we planted uh, some radishes right here in this row. So this will be the second crop of radishes. I just kind of, I don't have a tiller and I just kind of hand, uh, she got a spade shovel and just kind of turned it and uh, put a little of uh, uh, organic steer manure compost uh, mixed in with that soil and I'll, That'll uh, help, I'm sure. So, that seems looking good. Things are sh shaping around here in the uh, in the outlaw garden. So we found that we're we're finding grubs in our. Uh, look at that, showing the grubs. Ooh, that's chicken food. There's another grub. Where? Right there. That's chicken food. As as my four year old calls it, chicken chicken food. His two favorite things in the world is chicken and chocolate milk. So yesterday, how many how many goats did we find them yesterday? Like four, two more goats? Yeah. Mama Dean, how do you feel working this close to a beehive? You know, I don't feel nervous at all. I feel really comfortable around them. So we have like, uh, so we have like five beehives here in this garden. How many times have any of us been stung? Zero. Zero times. Zero times. My, my thinking behind this is, is that uh, they just get used to you. They get used to the movement in front. You can you can wave your arm in here. They don't come out and sting. Um, I just think they just get used to you. I've, I've always claimed that, and um, that's what I believe. Yeah. Which guys' thoughts on that? I. I guess this is a little bit of a bee movie. It's supposed to be a garden movie. <laughs> well, a garden and bees, so. Yeah, bees, bees and gardens go together. Yeah. So my ultimate plan is to um, put the mulch, the wood chips, in between the aisles, and then uh, last I'll do the roadway here that we walk on. That'll be the last one we'll we'll chip, and um, 
I already kind of, I already love it because over here I've been running my sprinkler and anybody who has clay soil um, knows when you walk with your shoes on clay it just sticks to it and uh, I'm able to walk on these uh, chips and my feet are clean so already loving that so if anybody's wondering where do you get the paper at oh I you get it at your big box store we got this one at uh, Home Depot um, it's 140 feet 140 feet by 35 inches or something wide but um, they're like 11 bucks a piece a little bit of an investment but it absolutely smothers out the weeds it's weed control and, and um, we've tilt this uh, garden I know I did a video said last time I'll ever tilt the garden first and last time I ever tilt the garden which uh, is a lie because I've tilt this garden since then two more times and look how much weeds are in there you can't see from here but somewhere over there there's plants growing I planted in there you just can't see the rolls because the weeds are overtaking it so how many grubs we have 60 grubs that's a lot of chicken food you want to try that yeah okay so as Dustin had mentioned before is that we found um, a spot where we were getting the wood chips for our garden and right behind me all through here is a pile of wood chips that um, uh, we've been able to find and dig through and everything so what most towns have is that if you check in with like your your town offices and everything ask them if they have a spot where you can get wood chips uh, and that and most town offices will just be glad to uh, tell you exactly where they're at so that way they can just get rid of them uh, and everything so it helps out your town uh, and then it helps out your garden so um something else that I want to ask you guys and get your opinion on that we found is we've, we've seen these uh, piles of uh, grass clippings like right there right here and just all around right there so an idea that we had is that um, yeah like an idea that we had is we thought well can we take the grass clippings and our our well kind of question concern is is a lot of people like to spray uh, chemicals and fertilizer onto their grass to make it greener and everything so our question is, and I, we need your uh, input on this, is can we take the grass clippings? Can we use them in the garden? Would the sun just uh, bake out that chemical inside it? Or do we just, just not use it at all? Uh, let us know what you guys think. Okay, so another uh, pile that we found that after we do the um, small wood chips, like what Dustin's getting right there is that for this where this is like so stringy and just sticks and everything <clears throat> is we thought that we would put that in the aisle way of the garden once we get everything else wood chipped. Do you think this is another truckload full? Yeah, we got enough for another truckload here. Definitely. So what was this our third truck third. load? Yep. Out of this pile, this is probably the best out of the other piles. Maybe there's one more here. But um I like it because look at this. Look how broke down that already looks. I mean it already looks pretty broke down. Mm -hmm. So the garden's gonna love that. Well I think we she I think we've already uh, showed everything that we know. Now you guys know what we know and uh, so I'll leave your thoughts in the comments. Um, pointers always welcomed or just your thoughts hey guys thank you for watching we'll see you in the next one peace